This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN. Technology, news, and information. All in one place. Hi, welcome to the Avaya Podcast Network video series on corporate internet broadcasting. I'm your host, Mark Fletcher, producer and creative director at the Avaya Podcast Network, APN. These informative videos are designed to give you the basic knowledge to start your journey into corporate internet broadcasting. In this episode, we're going to talk about one of the easiest forms of social media, and that's podcasting. Podcasts are a great way of reaching out to your customer or user base and providing them with a vehicle to interact with your company. But exactly how do you podcast? Well, the very first step is to write an outline. Even if you're comfortable with public speaking, the outline is going to help you keep your conversation on target and most importantly, within time limits. Start with a working title. For this video I used Episode one, podcasting. Now, not really all that creative, but you can work on the final, more descriptive title when you're done that reflects the content of the final video. Next, we have the intro. Cover who you are, what you're gonna be talking about, and then set the expectations for your listeners. Now, don't fall into the trap of creating this huge dramatic intro. This isn't a Hollywood production. Now we have the body of the podcast. And for now, just highlight the specific bullet points that you want to cover. Don't worry about the detail. We're going to go back and fill that in later. Just make sure you have a logical flow and cover the relevant points. In this podcast, the basic outline was the outline for the podcast, the intro, the body, and the close. We'll discuss the recording environment and echo, provide some tips to get good audio, and finally wrap up promoting the next episode and reminding the listener to support us on Twitter and Facebook. Now, as you're preparing all of this, keep in mind the podcast length. A good length to shoot for is about eight minutes for a single speaker or 10 to 12 minutes for a speaker and a guest. Remember, the idea behind the podcast is to be brief, but remain targeted and on topic. In today's modern rush world, things are flying at your audience from every direction. And by keeping the podcast short, you allow the individual to consume your content in small doses that can more easily fit into their busy workday schedule. Remember, it's much easier to grab five to 10 minutes of someone's precious time than a 30 to 45 minute of commitment. At the same time, make sure your content seamlessly strings together in case someone does have extended period of time and they'd like to string together podcasts while commuting, on a long flight, or on a train. I gotta tell you, I have a lot of people tell me that where they find my podcast the most valuable is when they're commuting. Finally, don't forget to define a call of action for those wanting more information. You'll be surprised on how little it takes to get started. You don't need a big studio. You don't need lots of equipment. What you need is to build an audience and deliver content that is relevant. If you can do that, your podcast will spread like wildfire organically. The rest will all come in due time. Now, once your basic outline is done or your initial script is written, it's time to practice. Record a scratch read of the script, even if it's just on your iPhone. And when you're listening back, read along, paying very close attention to the words while reading your script. Go back and tweak and fine tune the message carefully until you know it so well that you barely need the notes in front of you. Now, when you reach this point, you're going to be ready to record the first production take of your podcast. Capturing good audio is not difficult, but it does take preparation of the room and yourself. Remember, echo is not your friend. The biggest problem that you're going to fight is ambient room noise. That's that large cavernous sound that you hear, and it's caused by echo. Now, while you can spend thousands of dollars on soundproofing a room to record in, the most important thing is to just dampen the echo in a room. And that can easily be done by following just a few simple steps. 
Understand that hard flat surfaces are typically the cause of echo. Avoid speaking at them at all costs. If you have to, modify them by placing acoustic tiles that have cones or ridges. Alternatively, you can hang a thick comforter or quilt in front of you. This makes an excellent barrier that will help eliminate echo tremendously. Now why in front? That's where your sound waves are headed, and the quilt prevents them from bouncing back at the microphone. Next, look for and eliminate any ambient noise. A good idea is to record the room without talking. You'll start to really appreciate the ambient noise that does exist, such as fans, whirs, and buzzes. This is called the noise floor in a room, and if it's too loud and remains untreated, your recordings won't be bright and crisp and will require a lot more time in post-editing, making it a lot more difficult to deliver the content. This is where soundproofing behind you will come into play, or blocking a sound source with some type of treatment. The perfect studio, in all likelihood, may already exist in your home. If you have a walk-in closet, or a closet big enough for you to get into with your recording gear, believe it or not, all of those clothes hanging and all of those different angles that they're forming naturally create a perfect sound-absorbent environment. And if all else fails, you can even set yourself up underneath a thick quilt. And while it might be hot and steamy, you won't believe how well even the cheapest setup performs under the covers. In the next episode, we're going to cover some of the hardware and software required to capture your first podcast. So be sure to check back with us next week, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Avaya underscore APN or on SoundCloud.com forward slash Avaya Podcast and SoundCloud.com forward slash Fletch911. For the Avaya Podcast Network, this is Fletch. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time. This is the Avaya Podcast Network, APN. Technology, news, and information. All in one place.